Welcome to the Treat eLearning module on weather sites. In this module, we will discuss the difference between the long term and daily weather sites used in Treat and discuss different ways that Treat can be customized to handle these weather sites. Within Treat, the user can specify two types of weather files for each project. The daily and the long-term weather sites are both specified within the Weather and Default screen. When you start a new project, the weather sites will be filled in according to the default locations set up in the Preferences. To view or change the weather file preferences, select Project Group, Preferences, and then view the Weather and Defaults tab. Here the user can choose the most commonly used weather sites to be auto-populated upon opening a new project. Now let's talk about each of these weather sites and how they're used by the software. The long-term weather site is essential for both the billing and the energy model sections. Select the location that's closest to your building from the list of sites supported by TREAT. Your selection will direct the program to the appropriate TMY2 weather file that contains 30-year average weather data for the site specified for every hour of the year. These files are generated based on meteorological data, which includes information on global horizontal radiation, direct normal radiation, dry bulb temperature, dew point temperature, and wind speed. TREAT automatically accounts for the variations of air density at the elevation of the long-term weather site specified. The fuel usage of the model is calculated for the entire calendar year using the long-term weather site. It's also used in estimating annual heating degree days and cooling degree days for both the model and the billing calculations. Now let's talk about the daily weather site. The daily weather site is used for the billing analysis calculations only. If you are not incorporating billing data into your modeling, there is no need to specify the daily weather site. Similarly here, select the location that is closest to your building from the list of sites that you have entered. Some daily weather files are already provided as part of the tree installation, and others may be added. It's important to note that you must have daily weather data available for both the building locations and the periods covered by the utility bills. So for example, the bills included here are current up to 2002. If we select the daily weather data button for our Albany, New York location, we can see that this weather data is current to 2003. If the weather data was not as current as the bills, or if a close location was not available, you must update or import new bills. To add a new location, or to import more current utility bills, select the Import button within the Daily Weather Information screen. Next, you'll follow the on-screen instructions. The first step is to download the weather file from the University of Dayton website. Scrolling down to find US sites and then find the appropriate location you'd like to add or update. In this case we're going to update the Albany, New York location. Right click on the link and save the target. The next step is to browse for the file you've just downloaded. Then you'll select the appropriate location and import. You'll have the option to overwrite existing weather data or add data for only new dates only.
Now we see that the weather data for Albany, New York is current to this month. The daily weather data in TREAT is included as an editable library. After you import daily weather data as we've just done into a TPG, you may want to update the libraries for other TPG files with the latest weather data. Updated or added files can be permanently saved by storing the entry in the editable libraries. To do this, click Project Group Store Editable Libraries. For a step-by-step -step process of how to do this, please check out our Editable Libraries tutorial available on our website now. This concludes our weather site module. Please visit us at treatsoftware.com where you'll find additional e-learning modules. You'll also find information on classroom and webinar trainings. You can download updates, view product information, and also visit the help desk. On the help desk, you'll find frequently asked questions, you can search the knowledge base, and you can submit a ticket with a question that you have about using the TREAT software.